This was the aftermath of the explosion that caught many near the Senada's building along the city's Moy Avenue by surprise, with witness accounts indicating that the explosion went off at around 11 minutes past 1 p.m. But as explosive experts come through the debris in search of the answers, and as witnesses recount the horrific events, it is these exclusive CCTV images exclusively acquired by the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation that clearly tells of the story. Though with the wrong time code, the graphic images captures the mood before the blast and the pandemonium soon after the explosion went off. From this angle, the images show Kenyans walking along Moy Avenue on the MKU building veranda before the explosion shakes the building, filling the veranda with smoke and throwing traders into confusion. However, it is this other angle that tells the story of two teenagers, Cesarine Jerry and Geoffrey Kerry, after the blast tore through the electronic shop, only surviving by the grace of God in an incident that will forever remain etched in their minds. We first of all ran to one side because we were confused, we didn't, we didn't know what to do. And then after that, we ran out. We even forgot to close our shop. We were making a photocopy. So at once, because we were in So we were going to kill us, we were going to kill us, and we were going Their story replicated by others within the Mount Kenya University building and adjacent buildings. We were going to kill us, we were going Nikasikia nikiwa nimeinuliwa ni juu damu yenye tulikuwa tumevalisha nguo ikaanguka so nikajua kuna kitu baya imetokea kwetu kulishek na products zikaanguka and as this footage and initiative of an individual trader becomes seemingly important in telling the story the government says plans are underway to install cameras at a cost of 2.6 billion shillings that will stream going on within the city to a central room the system will enable the principal user to view, to view live streaming video from different areas of the city as well as record and store video for later viewing. Nyakati za milipuko hizi tafadhali wangeliweka hapa awali hatungeli tungelipata lilo sababisha huu mlipuko. Talk of being at the wrong place at the wrong time. These two teenagers know just too well how by a whisker they escaped. They thank God they are alive. Kama umbote Channel 1 News.